Okay, this is the English language 2019 paper two part A examination for writing. So in this task, this is the following prompt you need to follow. The yearbook committee is putting together a book for all graduating students. The yearbook is a collection of photos and comments about school life written and submitted by students. When read several years later, the yearbook will remind students of their time at secondary school. So now you are a student in class 6C at Kowloon Secondary School. The committee has asked you to complete the following year yearbook entry. Okay, so when you first approach this task, you need to look at what it is talking about. First of all, uh, a yearbook is something that may not be familiar to everybody. Uh, so a yearbook is mainly uh, a collection of different things that happen during your school life, especially the things that happen in the year that you are graduating. Uh, usually uh, they will focus on uh, things in Form 4, Form 5, and Form 6. Of course, you can talk about uh, things that happen in your junior secondary uh, school life but normally uh, it focuses on in your senior years okay and when you read this yearbook later on it will give you some um, memories of the time that you were in secondary school so a very key point here is you are mainly talking about things that happened in the past and when you really take a look at the yearbook again, it will be um, a lot of memories that come back to you uh, and things that you think uh, it is important for you to remember for many years to come. So when you are uh, 25 years old, uh, you will go back and look at your yearbook from when you were in Form 6 and then you will be thinking, oh, this is what happened um, when I graduated. Um, so and then or maybe later you can um, look at it even when you have become a father or mother or even uh, when you have um, retired that's maybe a long time away but it is uh, the meaning of a collection of memories so your main task is you have to uh, complete the following yearbook entry so uh, there are two parts in this uh, writing so the first part is about your academic life. Uh, you have to write about one subject that you enjoyed studying or found challenging. And the second part is about your student life. So you have to write about what you will miss most about being a student in class 6C. So if you take a look at um, this, it is um, kind of like a, a photo to remember, oh, okay, this is really what happened when I was in this graduating class so again this is something that uh, you're, you're writing in the yearbook uh, today and you have to think that okay these are some of the things that really happened and but in 1.2 student life you're talking about things that oh this is something that I will miss uh, in the future okay so when you go back and look at it oh the are these really the things that I will miss the most Okay, so when we take a look back at 1.1, the academic life part, uh, you should only focus on one particular subject that you really uh, studied. Okay, so mainly you should talk about either did you enjoy studying that subject or you found that subject very challenging. So you should uh, take a look at uh, one side because this is actually a short writing so uh, you should not try to write both sides of whether or not you enjoy it or uh, challenging so you should focus on one particular side so when we took a look at um, different subjects uh, you can talk about mathematics you can talk about your science subjects you can also talk about your language subjects such as English uh, Chinese uh, you can also talk about your elective subjects. Uh, some of you may be taking visual arts. Uh, some of you may be taking chemistry. 
uh, even PE lessons or even uh, for even some students maybe uh, taking geography, uh, history, um, and other different type of subjects. So you should focus on one of them that you think you want to write the most. Okay, so uh, in general, uh, you should think about whether or not it is enjoyable or challenging. So I'm giving you both sides, but when you do your writing, you're only focusing on one side of things. So when we t when we look at um, on the enjoyable side, if you can talk about the syllabus, the syllabus is what you're really learning in that uh, subject. Oh, uh, you are very interested in this syllabus because these are the things that you actually want to learn. Or um, the skills that you learned from these subjects help you improve uh, different things. For example, it can improve your critical thinking. It can improve the way that you communicate with your uh, friends. You can communicate with your family. Or um, you find this subject is very re rewarding uh, because it gives you a lot of uh, high marks. And um, one word of saying it is uh, it gives you a lot of sense of achievements. Um, so this is something that you may want to focus uh, on when you are doing this writing okay or if you say okay i may not like this subject very much because it is very challenging um, for example this is a subject where the syllabus has a lot of things to remember you have to uh, put in a lot of effort into re uh, memorizing a lot of different uh, dates uh, for example if you're taking history uh, there are a lot of different dates that you are looking at uh, also, uh, if you are doing something, for example, in chemistry, you may have to remember a lot of different um, chemicals. Uh, you have to look at the periodic table. Uh, so this is something that uh, you may want to write about. Or because uh, it could be a compulsory subject, uh, you may have no interest in it at all. And at the end of the day, you have no sense of achievement because it is very difficult to understand um, of, of, of the different contents that is included. So some of you may find um, Chinese language may be very difficult to understand because there are a lot of things that you do not really um, understand what it is talking about. For example, it, uh, some of the uh, text that you have to look at, it may be very difficult to um, understand or even memorize some of the questions. Or for English subjects, you may have a difficult time uh, with remembering all the different vocabulary, uh, sentence structures, uh, or even the grammar items. Okay, and um, another challenging point for some of you may be uh, do, do, do I even have a future use to this subject? Okay, for example, uh, the mathematic formulas that I need to remember are, am I going to use them in the future? So, uh, all in all, uh, you have to focus on whether or not you, when you pick that particular subject, uh, which side do you really want to talk about? Are you going to talk about the enjoyable side or are you going to talk about the challenging side of the subject? So, choose one side and then you will be able to uh, focus on uh, how to support this particular uh, point that you have made. Okay, the second part to this uh, writing is talking about the student life. And the main idea here is you have to talk about what you will miss most about being a student in class 6C. So right now you are uh, a student in the in this class right now and you will be graduating this year uh, think about the different things that are happening uh, in this class so I have some examples for you um, oh is it exciting is it amazing uh, are there things that happened uh, during this time for example AFS uh, the uh, exchange program or uh, was there an exchange student that made made the whole experience very different 
uh, were the other students uh, kind to you? Um, were there any friends that you have made during this time when you were in this class? Okay, so mainly focus on the memories when you were in this school. So think of everything in the school setting. Don't think of it as, oh, oh, I like to hang out with my friends after school. This is what we do. No, this is, you should focus on things that happens in the classroom, uh, especially things that you do with your own class. Okay, so you can focus on things like um, your classmates, uh, uh, events that may pop up to you is when you were having trouble doing uh, homework. Uh, how do you focus on uh, getting the question solved? Okay, uh, so you can think about whether or not you did homework together and what are some of the memories that go along with them. And um, did you do any school projects? For example, in liberal studies, you may have done uh, some some I. IEC project or I forgot the uh, entire name um, so maybe you can think about those uh, projects that you may have done uh, your SBA for different subjects uh, were you fighting for uh, meeting deadlines uh, did you did you work together with your classmates to find out uh, how to complete different tasks together okay um, also when you are in secondary school when you're in especially in senior forms um, your teachers may be uh, have a lot of different uh, effects on you okay uh, do, do you bond with them are they helpful to you do you remember the first detention they give you they gave you after school so these are some of the things that uh, may help you understand this a, a little bit um, another thing is uh, the different class activities that may have gone on. For example, uh, the school picnic. Okay, what did you do during those times? Okay, uh, what activities bring back different memories with you? Uh, where did you go during that that time? Um, and also for sports day, uh, did your class participate in different uh, events? For example, the four by one hundred meter relay. Uh, in this relay, uh, what really happened? Uh, did so and so uh cross the finishing line with uh with so and so? Um, did you take a lot of different pictures then? Okay, those are things that you may want to talk about. And other activities like Christmas party, singing contest, uh, can bring back different memories down the road as well. And last, import, most importantly, did this class feel like a family to you? So these are some of the things that you should really focus on when you talk about your school memories. Uh, there's, a, uh, there's a quote that I uh, found was, things end, but memories last forever. So uh, this is how you will approach uh, these two parts of the question. Um, and it will help you uh, think about the different uh, aspects of uh, things that happen in your school life. Okay, so I hope this um, video will help you a little bit more of understanding the question and what things that you're expected when you uh, write a topic like this. Okay, so remember there are two parts to the question. 1.1, your academic life, okay, uh, the subject that you enjoy or you found challenging the most. And the second part is on your student life, uh, things that you will miss when you are in this particular class. Okay, so remember you are a student in class 6C. Okay, so this is um, how you should put yourself into the, into the shoes of writing this yearbook entry. Okay, so um, I hope uh, I have been able to help you understand this a little bit more. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. Uh, I'm Ellen Sir for Ellen Sir English. So enjoy and have fun learning English. All right, I'll see you next time.